All right, welcome back. Uh, I realized after we did the last video, and something you might be realizing too is is that we can only generate up to a hundred Fibonacci numbers using the way we did in that last video, right? So uh, why don't we go ahead and do something that's going to change that a little bit, so we can generate much more. Um, so we're going to take the the scratch file we had from before, right? And I still have it here. I'm going to do a little bit of editing on it, right? So one thing we're going to do, recall, you might have used it before up in the sensing category. We have uh, a couple of blocks here, right? We have the ask what's your name and wait block, and then we have the answer, and that's where it's stored in a temporary variable. That's one of the things we can do. We can get the generate up to by doing that. So one of the first things I want to happen, we want it to add 0 and 1 to the list. Now before I even do that, I'm going to drag this and put it right underneath the green flag click, just like this, right? The ask what's your name. And I'm going to change the text to that to something like, how many numbers do you want generated? Okay, so it's going to ask that question. And it's going to wait for an answer, right? And, and we're going to do something with that answer. And that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to go back to variables for a minute. And we're going to go and, and set, drag in a set block. And we're going to put that right underneath it. So I'm going to set generate up to, to, and now I'm going to go back to sensing. I'm going to set that to the answer. Right, that's the way we can, can modify this. And if we wanted to, we wouldn't even need to use generate up to. We could just put answer down here where generate up to is used, right? This is just an alternative that we're going to do. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to test it. I'm going to switch back to that screen. Right? And so we're going to click the green flag. And now it's asking me how many mo numbers do you want generated. I'm going to say um, 15. I'm going to click the little checkbox. Right? And look at that. We have 17 numbers in our list. The first 17 Fibonacci numbers are generated for us. Now this, is, this could be a little bit fun. Right? I'm going to go back in and I can generate 102. That's something I couldn't do with this because if I do that, right, I go up to 100. But I have 102 typed in here. Go ahead and click that and look at that. There goes Scratch off creating 102 Fibonacci numbers for us. So now, uh, now that we've got that created, challenge for you. Go ahead and try and figure out what is the maximum number of Fibonacci numbers that Scratch is able to compute based on how, how much it can compute with the, with the computer. Right? There is some kind of maximum. We can't just type in 1,000 and watch it go. Um, well, we might be able to. That's your challenge. Just figure out what the highest number of Fibonacci numbers we can generate is.